and an educator. Uh, I'm not an attorney or a CPA, so the purpose of this call is to really educate you and get you to the next level of transacting commercial real estate. The hedge fund um, the website that I have is Mixif.com, which stands for Medawar International Group Secured Income Fund. Uh, the fund has been up and running since 2009 when the economy changed, and I had many investors saying they would rather invest with me because I was making a lot of money at the time, and the market uh, decrease in value worked our advantage a great deal. And the CMREI.com is the education website, which is Sharif Medawar Real Estate Investing, and this is what we're all about, educating people to get them to invest. Some would rather invest with me, some invest on their own, some actually go get deals and work on with me for the fund or with me directly into partnerships. And I want you to know, for those that don't know me, I have been an author as well, and I wrote a book a couple of years ago called Blue Ocean Opportunities in Commercial Real Estate. It's a bestseller on Amazon. It has been quoted in many magazines, Forbes, CBS News, Yahoo, etc. You know, I do a lot of live events, especially in California and nationwide, and a lot of this information has been disseminated. But people love reading the books, and I've had some great feedback from people that read it. I urge you to, you know, download a copy, or put it very inexpensively on, on Amazon, and you can just uh, would love to hear your feedback on the book. We also, this year in 2014, rolled out the book with Steve Forbes, co-author. And uh, this is actually my photo with Steve Forbes in New York when uh, we did the book launch earlier this year. It became also a bestseller first quarter 2014. Very proud of it. It is the, the chapter um, on, on 12 steps to your financial freedom. Very detailed and a lot of good information. A lot of other wealth advisors have participated in the book as well. Uh, in the hedge fund world, I have actually rubbed shoulders with some of the best. I have done deals in Olson One Puerto Rico, which I hold personally a portfolio of over $50 million of commercial mixed-use property, mainly retail properties. On the left side of the screen here, you see Nicholas Prouty, who is a very well-known hedge fund manager from New York running the Putnam uh, uh, Bridge Fund, which actually is a New York $18 billion fund. On the right side of the screen, John Paulson, who actually avoided several billions of dollars in taxes by structuring in Puerto Rico, same as I have been structured since 2003. He just discovered this last year in 2013. Kind of funny that I've been teaching that for 10 years. Finally, it came through, and it was a big deal in Puerto Rico based on some incentives for US Congress. So I have been an expert in the financial world for many years, and I'm really excited to share with you how I, who had started as a hotel manager many years ago running properties for Hilton Hotels, became a real estate mogul uh, rubbing shoulders really with the best of the best. I mean, to have a co-authorship with Forbes, uh, standing there with Paulson, who, who had bet on the real estate market going down and made several billion for himself and for his investors. I stand here in this picture in front of a chateau in the Loire Valley in France, uh, 60 kilometers outside Paris. It is owned by one of the richest people in the world, a gentleman in the name of Edmond Bessari. Bissori uh, met me when I was running uh, around in a hotel in Century Plaza Hotel in Los Angeles in 1980 and early 81. And uh, I was um, a management trainee at the time. I was literally in my early 20s. And Edmond Bessari, who was friend of Ronald Reagan, who had made himself billions of dollars, had, had me work for him. He said, look, Sharif, you have the potential. I see your energy. I want you to work for me and expose me in the 80s when I was in my 20s to a world of high finance, incredible structures of commercial real estate worldwide, and I realized that the principles are the same, and there are ways to work hard and ways to work smart. So let me share with you in this session five of the best 10 ways to buy no money down commercial properties. Because many people, even those that have money, would rather get into deals creatively with the least amount of money possible because they perceive that as being the least amount of risk and least amount of hassles. I'm going to also give you a sixth strategy as a bonus for you to apply. So those that are excited about this opportunity, serious about the potential, I don't think you'll find anyone that has been in this world of commercial real estate investing, both internationally and locally, especially in the state of California and Puerto Rico, which is part of the U.S., as knowledgeable as I am. Now, you're aware there are many different types of commercial property. 
And even if you started in residential, you will take many principles that you already know into the commercial world. And if you haven't, if you have no background whatsoever in real estate, pay close attention because it's not difficult. It's all about relationships. It's all, all about communication, knowledge, and creativity. So whether you're dealing with office space, industrial space, retail, medical buildings, nursing homes, storage facilities, warehouse, or even you have small business that's leasing somewhere, or want to do land development, mobile home parks, or hotels and motels, which are very exciting. You have restaurants. You can have standalone restaurants. You have uh, uh, restaurants that are part of a strip mall, fast food places, strip centers, malls, outlets. Outlets are discount centers. Movie theaters, even we've done these with movie theaters in San Jose, California. Arenas are cash cows. Senior care facilities, which are all also called residential care facilities, also called assisted living facilities. There are many names for them for many types of tenants, recreational facilities, and my favorite of all, single tenant retail buildings. Many different types out there that you can immerse yourself in, and you can really master the game. The key thing to begin and work creatively is to find a motivated seller. Motivated sellers include banks in today's market. I want you to know that number one key strategy for motivated sellers in the commercial real estate world is management problems. A lot of amateurs get into the world of buying apartment buildings, storage facilities, or these types of units where they have many units and they think it reduces their risk. What they don't realize is it's management intensive. I actually, I've heard even some people on webinars and seminars tooting the fact that they have apartment buildings and they don't deal with tenants. Let me tell you the truth of the matter. If you don't deal with tenants, you're hoping to have a management company that's going to be fully reliable and fully trustworthy. That does not exist. You still have to manage the management company. You still have to survey the tenants directly to get the truth and to know facts and figures about the properties you're running if you truly want to run a very effective business. So a lot of people that got into these multi-unit properties end up with management properties management problems, and they're going to work with you. They're going to work creatively. They're going to listen if you know how to present your case. Motivated sellers usually have properties that are not performing to the maximum capacity. They don't know how to do it. Maybe they're at a distance. They get discouraged, and they like to listen. People that are in divorce, usually it's very motivating for them to get out of the situation and want to settle. Sometimes there's a court order to settle assets. Pretty sad. Disputes maybe with tenants, or lawsuits with partners, or lawsuits with people from other issues of businesses. They didn't know who they got into partnership with. They didn't know what they're doing. They get motivated to sell to you so they can settle. One of my best deals I've done was an issue where two people were buying a building, and the seller's son said that they were unfairly making an offer and tying up the property for a long time and started suing them. The lawsuit got so out of hand that an appraiser called me and said, listen, can you help all these people? They're spending all their money on lawyers. And I came in, settled with the party that's suing the plaintiff, settled with the other people, got the property for a song. Why? Because it was a mess. And the court demanded the solution. And everybody was running out of money. It was a very nice deal. It was very creative. Tied up the property for an additional 18 months, but settled. And you know why it settled? Because I paid the lawyers. And they were all in control very powerful, creative strategies, death and inheritance. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't know how to organize their affairs with living trust or simple methods, so they end up tying the property in probate. There is an executor, there are trustees. When you come in, you work something creative, the actual people that are going to inherit are happy with the deal, it works out, moves forward. Out of town or out of the country, sellers will listen. They want out, they would rather change the situation of a hassle a simple cash flow, and if there is no cash flow, they just don't want any liability with the debt. Illness, sadly enough, when there is a terminal illness or an illness, the people's focus for changes from I want to make more money, I want to compete, I want to settle, I want to relax, I will let it go, and then move on to something else. You can help them. People that have default issues and tenant challenges will listen, because you can come in and add value, property condition. This is usually a huge motivator. 
a lot of people get these commercial buildings, they milk them, especially hotels, motels, apartment buildings, and they get a lot of wear and tear. And these owners don't understand what cash reserve is, but capital expenditures are, and they end up in a difficult and peculiar situation where you can come in, work something creative, bring a partner in, bring a contractor in, and work something creative. I'm going to talk about some specific strategies, but I want you to understand that when you drive down the street and look for commercial properties, there are always, I hate to be so absolute, there are always opportunities. Because even somebody with no problem may have an opportunity to upgrade and go to a bigger property. People get greedy. And number 10 is other priorities or opportunities. One of the best deals I've done was a guy selling a property to go to a 1031 exchange, meaning not pay taxes and roll the profits forward into another property and acquire it. And he was getting such a great deal in the next property that he was willing to discount with me and work something creative. So understand the opportunities are out there. Don't look for properties and say, oh, there's no for sale sign. I don't know what to do. Oh my God, this is listed by a broker. I got to have 60% down payment, 40% down payment. You're only limited by your knowledge, creativity, and ability to communicate. So let me add to your knowledge. I work specifically what's called a fact system. I've patented this since 2003. We've taught it. We've changed people's life with it. The fact system is five steps. Number one, the F stands for find the property, which is a good deal, and find the tenants. Every property has income. The income comes from tenants. The more reliable the tenants are, the better the property will be in terms of value, in terms of income, peace of mind, etc. Analyze the numbers. You know, what are the numbers I need to analyze? I need to analyze the income. What is the potential income? What is the current income? How am I going to get there, etc. And I want to understand the local trend. So you analyze the trend. You want to control the property. You control it through a good process of negotiation. And I know people get scared when they say, well, I'm not going to use a lot of money. I'm not going to use any money. Can I really negotiate it? Of course. Of course. And make the offer and get it in writing. If you don't have the property under contract, you don't have anything. All you have is a concept, an idea. You kind of have it under contract so you can tie it up and control it. Now the next thing is T for timing the process. You can time the process of adding value. Maybe bring more tenants. Maybe get it rehabbed. Maybe get it lined up for another person to come in and buy it. Maybe get it lined up for like getting a land, get it uh, entitled. Adding value is where the money is. And or if you're not going to add value, you're going to buy it. You're not going to just assign it. You can do the proper due diligence. I've created a checklist with 100 points of due diligence on every single type of property conceivable out there. And there are specific financing entities that will finance all kinds of properties. And even hard money lending and lenders that, that specifically focus on, let's say, mobile homes or residential care facilities, etc. You don't go to a regular bank for that. There are specific ways to do it. And then you focus your timing on the closing. Now, once you found the property, analyzed the numbers, controlled it, and timed the process, and now you got it, and you close, you got to strategize in two ways. You got to find a management company or manage your property directly in a way that makes it profitable while you're actually taking it to its highest and best use. What does it mean, highest and best use? Let me tell you something. Focusing on increasing its income. And what I'm sharing with you, we have done what's called a commercial real estate roundtable event where I put different tables. Each table had six to eight individual students that are investors with good backgrounds. And we brainstormed. They had their laptops. And I had them look at the facts, how to find different types of property. Each table focused on a different type of property, which shows 12 different types of properties. And this series that you see right here is what came out of these training events that were brainstorming of how to find different types of properties. Each one. One is apartment buildings, storage facilities, hotels and motels, land development, and so on. And we created the most comprehensive commercial real estate training in the world. Do you know on that part, but taking a property to its highest and best use, you will be amazed how many people have zero creativity looking at a property, have no idea. They can put antennas on top, advertisement on the side, rezone it, change the use, do this. We came up with 50 to 100 methods per type of property to take it to its highest and best use. What I'm telling you, I have already videos, videotaped, filmed, and edited, and I have it available for people that want it. 
But let me focus right now on five of the 10 ways to do commercial real estate with no money down. Number one way is ask the seller to carry back the financing using a wraparound mortgage. Now, what's a wraparound mortgage? Don't let the terminology throw you off. If somebody has a property, let's take an apartment building, and he or she, let's say he, for simplification, he, this seller, he owns, he owns the property, but has a first lien debt to the bank for, let's say, 600000 and a second lien to some entity of 100000 So he owes 800000 and he wants to sell the property at a million. It's a good deal. You feel you can make money with it. You can tell the seller, listen, let's do a wraparound. I'll owe you the million. What happens is you draft a contract agreement, like a land contract that says that you, the buyer, will pay him, the seller, a million dollars through escrow. Escrow will take that payment on the million dollars and will actually make the payment to the first lien, which is the bank, to the second lien, which whatever whoever loaned them the second mortgage, and will make a payment to the seller on the equity. How are you going to get that payment made? From the property, because the minute you do a wraparound mortgage, you have access to the property. You have what's called equitable title to the property. You can start going in. You can start improving it, adding value. And you can work it creatively. I've done a wraparound deal where I bought an apartment building. Had the seller carry a note on the whole thing wraparound, and then I told him on his portion of the payment, which was kind of substantial, I told him, you got to give me six months until I reposition the property, then I'll start making the pain. The note for the wraparound mortgage was amortized over 30 years, due in four years. So in other words, the payment is calculated over a 30-year period, but within four years, I have to either refinance and cash him out, or I have to go and sell the property. Well, guess what? A few months later, I turned around and sold it as another wraparound mortgage for more money to another gentleman. That other gentleman came in, paid me higher interest than I was paying, and I ended up with cash flow. And we did the wraparound for two years. Ended up on positive cash flow without even starting with any money. All I had to pay for, to be totally upfront with you, is I had to pay some closing costs and the wraparound mortgage. By the way, on the website, cmrei.com, those of our members, partners, and work with us, you have these type of contracts. You have samples of these contracts. Review them by your attorney so you can learn how it's done. Wraparound mortgage is a great way to buy in many markets like Dallas, Kansas, etc. Ask and you may receive. Understand the numbers and you'll be able to structure it. Follow the tax system and you'll see that you can get results. Now, number two, ask the lender to loan you X amount of money against the property and then ask the seller to carry the difference. So what if the seller tells you, look, I am willing to carry 200,000. I'm not going to carry a million because I owe seven and 100,000. What if you go to a hard money lender? What if you go to any lender and say, how much would you loan me? And the lender says, I will loan you 700,000 on this property. Great. You can go to the seller and say, I'll get a loan for 700. But I want you to carry the 300 difference. I want you to work with me on that difference. How beautiful could that be? Now, they are out. They pay off their debt. The seller pays off his or her debt. And they end up carrying a note on the difference, which is beautiful because now they have no more debt or they have very little debt left. And they can carry on the difference. This is huge. Now, a lot of people say, but Sharif, a lot of lenders don't want the seller to carry back. Well, go with lenders that do. A lot of private lenders will do it. I've done, you know, when it comes to lending, you have the traditional banks that are large, like Wells Fargo, Bank of America, etc. And then you have the actual local lenders that are banks that are locally, local, working with the community and the neighborhood, a lot more flexible. I like to build rapport with these. I've done it in many markets, and it was great because they're more creative. Sometimes they even have what I call special programs for the community. And what I do is I then work with these vendors, and I tell them, would you mind the seller will carry a note? I've done a deal where the bank at the closing told me, no, Sharif, you cannot owe us the first and owe the seller a second. That's at the closing, 2 p.m., at the closing table. 
I said, what are you talking about? I already gave you all the documents on this. Well, that's the condition on the loan. I said, well, is there any way we can work it out? They said, yes. If you don't make any payments for that second mortgage that was well, with the trustee that's in California, where you don't make any payments to the seller on that note he is going to carry for the first two years. So I called the seller. I said, we need to change our terms on the note if you want to close. And he said, what are you talking about? I said, I need to put it that I am under no obligation to make the payment for you on that note you're going to carry for the first 24 months. And he said, but you said you're going to make the payment. I said, yes, I will make the payment. But I need to say that I'm under no obligation to make the payment. So the bank wants to, because they have a debt ratio, they want to make sure the income of the property is so much, I'm going to make them so much, and the rest stays with me as positive cash flow. That's what the lender wanted. They're giving me the money. They call the shots. It was a creative deal. Seller says, you know what? It's the 11th hour. You owe me the money. If you don't pay me, you're gonna, I'm going to foreclose. Um, you know, I, I want out. I got to take it off my, my, my name. He wanted the loan off his name because he was moving East Coast and he was buying another property. And having that loan on record was hindering his opportunity to buy another property in New Jersey. You know what? We did it. We, we changed the terms. The seller carried the note. And it was a wonderful deal because I didn't have to make any payment, but I did make the payment as agreed. And a few months later, I repositioned the property and sold it, paid him off. I had no prepayment penalty with him. And with the bank, I had a prepayment penalty of 2%. And let me give you a bonus here. You know how I did not have to pay the prepayment penalty? When I sold the property, I told the bank, how about if I sell it right now, I bring you that buyer to get the loan from you. They said, if that buyer gets the loan from us, then we're not going to charge you the 2% prepayment penalty. And I made it a condition for the buyer. You want to buy the property, you got to go to my bank. And they, he said, if they match the terms I have, I'll do it. And sure enough, they matched his terms. Everybody was happy. It is another way to avoid the, the, the points on prepayment penalty. When I get the loan, I tell them, what if when I sell the property and I pay you the two points or three percentage points prepayment penalty on the loan, meaning if I got a loan for a million, and I'm going to get rid of it in, in less than, let's say, three years. I got to pay, let's say, two points. That means the million dollars will cost me 2%. That means $20,000 in prepayment fees because they have to do the loans and all this. But guess what? If I get another loan from that lender within six months, they give me back the two percentage points because I just got a new loan from them. So I never have to pay the prepayment penalty. I keep rolling it over and get the best terms. Very creative. Ask and you may receive. But if you have no training, if you have no knowledge of what's out there, how can you even ask? You don't even know what you don't know. That's what I'm trying to do, give you some knowledge of what's out there. Number three, add value and ask the seller to partner up. I've taken a property where I told them I'm going to put it under contract. I brought in a contractor to partner with me. This guy had credit lines with Home Depot. And I told them I need six months to close. We started approving with the seller that we're going to do some work inside of our cost and liability. And the partner I brought in, the contractor, started making changes, adding value. And then we couldn't get the loan still. They wanted us to put it down payment. So I went to the seller. And I said, now that we added all this, property value increased. How about if we partner up? Can you add our name to the deed? And then when we get these tenants in, we can refinance and cash you out and give you a little bit more money. We added value. The seller saw that there is a benefit for him to put us on the deed. We literally went downtown, added our name on the deed, the contractor, and my name. Well, I had an entity there, and we turned around, placed the tenants, refinanced, cashed out that seller, and it was a beautiful win-win for everybody. Let me give you number three way to do it. I love doing a lease with an option to buy. Now, anyone listening to me right now, if you are have a business, like I've had a student who does mini marks. This person was leasing and was getting all his stuff on consignment. He literally was short every month and he would take cash advance on his credit cards to make ends meet. Came to one of my training. I showed him how to do a lease with an option to buy. He literally went to another location 
leased the actual standalone building, put his business in it with check cashing, all the stuff that was in there was on consignment with third party tenants, third party vendors, all the stuff they, that they sell in these mini marts. And he got a lease to lease the building with an option to buy. Once his business started making money, six months later, he actually went and exercised his option to purchase the building. And it was a beautiful deal because he did a small business administration loan. By the way, small business administration loans are wonderful. I've done trainings on these. We have them even archived for our members and partners that work with us. And you can make it happen. If you're in business and leasing from somebody else, wake up and understand you can change your entire business structure by owning the commercial property you're in. And even if you're in a mall, go branch outside and make it happen. A lease with an option to buy is one of the best ways to acquire properties with no money down. Number four, a lease and sublease with an option to buy. Now, how beautiful is this? If you're going to get a lease, property is vacant, and you go in, let's say, on retail properties or warehouses, we had this gentleman who had a warehouse in Long Beach, California. He was leasing it to put furniture he was getting from China. His wife is from China. He had contacts in China. They were getting furniture shipped, and they were putting them in these containers and putting them in a warehouse. And then his business expanded. And he wanted out, wanted to go to a bigger warehouse. But he still needed that warehouse for a few more months. But he was going to move to a bigger one. We showed him how to do a lease with an option to buy on the bigger one. And on the one he was in, we said, don't just come out. Get a sublease going. You have that paragraph in your lease that allows you to sublease. This is standard in commercial leases. You're leasing with an old price. You've been leasing for eight years. Your lease is 6000 a month. You can sublease at today's value at 10000 a month. You have a positive cash flow. And you have an option to buy. Guess what? He subleased at 10000 to another tenant. The other tenant came in, paid him 10000 He's paying six. He's making positive cash flow on a building that he doesn't own. And he has an option to buy it. Now, if he exercises the option to buy that, for the seller, it's going to appraise lower because the seller is only receiving 6000 a month. But for him, when he gets the loan, it's going to appraise higher because he has a subtenant that's paying him 10. So that spread in difference, which is 4,000 a month times 12 months, is $48,000 difference, makes the building worth about $700,000 more in value for him. Because now he's able to buy it at the lower price. The lender is going to give him a loan based on the tenant that's in, that's paying 10 to him. And he's paying out six. Very powerful. I have done lease and sublease in retail buildings. I have leased for 8,000, subleased for 20,000 to Burberry, made 12,000 a month on a 15-year lease. Phenomenal deal. I have shared it with students. I have shown it to people exactly how to do this, to do deals purely, no money down. You can do this. It's called the sandwich lease. Most people have the concept, don't know how to apply. I am telling you, go and ask and put the pieces together. Number five. Get it under contract, get part of it appraised for full price, and then sell that part or borrow against it to pay off seller. Now, this strategy may sound a bit complicated, but let me tell you something. It happens usually in land development more often than not. There was a deal in Wisconsin. This was phenomenal. Large lot, huge lot, 250 acres. The seller wants out. We took the front part of the deal. The front part was on the busy freeway, and we just took 10 acres of the 250 acres. The entire deal was going to be done for $5 million. The front part was zoned for retail. The city was anxious for somebody to develop it. It has been sitting for 42 years with nothing happening. Appraiser came in. We told him how much for that lot appraised it for $5 million. We were trying to get a loan against it. The bank said, all we can loan against this is $3 million. You know what we did? We sold that front part for $5 million and paid for the rest 
240 acres remaining got them free and clear. Now, yes, it is a long process to develop and et cetera, et cetera, but you know what? That's another going to be another creative strategy. I got, I got five more creative strategies I'll share in the future. The key thing is you can even partner with contractors and do this stuff. So to recap quickly, ask seller to carry back and do a wraparound mortgage. Ask lender to loan you X amount and have the seller carry the difference. Add value and then ask the seller to partner up and pay them a little bit more. Do a lease with an option to buy because then you can exercise the option when you have some other person to flip it to or when you have a lender ready to give you money. Do a lease and sublease and then exercise your option when you have more income than you pay out. Get a big property under contract. See if parts of it will actually add up to the sum of the value. Sell that part. Pay off the rest. You have it free and clear. Let me tell you guys, I'm going to give you the sixth one as a bonus. You can have a strategy to work directly with me. That's one of the key things that people tell me, okay, all this is fine and dandy, Sharif. I may find a creative seller, but I don't want to get stuck with payment. I don't want to get stuck with liability. How can I line up interested buyers and investors? Well, I am the guy. I have a hedge fund. We have millions sitting, and we look for very specific deals. So if you came into this call hoping for no money down commercial real estate, then invest with me. I'm ready, willing, able. I have almost 25 years experience in this. I've been a hedge fund manager for over five and a half years now, and we've made millions for, for the fund, for the investors, and for the partners. I'm going to share with you the strategy, so listen very carefully. Here's your chance. I want you to think retail. I want you to think how to assign and profit. You start focusing on single tenant retail. What's a single tenant retail? That's a standalone building. All by itself there, where you drive on a busy street, and it's vacant. Look in your own backyard. I don't want you to go to another city or another town. Look in your own backyard and find a vacant property. Get it under contract. I'll give you a proof of fund letter with over three million dollars, I want you to just lock in the property and I'm here. I work on the fund, I'm an associate of the fund, the fund is called MIGSIF, Metawar International Group Security Income Fund, right here in the top right part of the screen. And you're gonna write the contract, your name and or assignee. If they tell you the assignee, it's MIGSIF. They can verify with me, they can verify with the bank, proof of fund, over three million dollars. You're gonna lock in the property, easy 45 days. There's no obligation to buy it. You can put as little as 5,000, to lock it in with your own money, refundable to you. I'm going to give you a list of national tenants. You're going to call the national tenants and tell them a very specific, verbatim what I'm going to tell you to tell them. You're going to say that, tell them a very specific script. Here's the property. This is square footage. This is what I want to do. You're going to send them an email. That's a package email that you send them. And you have 4,000 national tenants to work with. This is not something that is scarce. This is something not known by others. There's a huge difference here. That there are plenty of opportunities, but very few people know or even see them. They don't even see the opportunities. I'm going to show you the opportunities. I'm going to guide you how to do it. I'm going to give you the money to do it. And when you get everything lined up, based on the income that the tenant is going to pay when they get into that property, and the lease terms I'm going to show you how to do, the property increases in value. You're taking an empty property. You're lining up a tenant to come in and lease it for 10 to 15 years, and guess what happens? When that tenant says, here's my letter of intent to lease it, the value of the property increases. I want you to start looking at these deals effective today. When you drive home from work, or if you're now at home, get in the car, drive around, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Get online and see how many single tenant properties are available, because nobody knows. Very few people know how to apply this. And once you have it lined up, I'm the person you're going to assign it to. There's a very specific method to communicate with me. We close all cash within 72 hours. There is very little due diligence on these type of properties. You get paid 10 to 25% on the value difference. You locked in the property at $600,000 vacant. You lined up a tenant that's based on the income they're going to pay. It's going to make it worth a million. That's 400000 instant increase in value. I pay you 40000 assignment fee to $100,000 within 72 hours. If you want to buy it yourself, well, maybe you can use one of the strategies I shared with you. Even you can use hard money lenders, partners, work out with the sellers. Huge. Let me tell you. You're going to get trained by me, and you're going to communicate directly with me. I'll pay you that assignment fee directly to you. 
10 to 25 percent, contract of 600, value increase to a million, you're going to make 40,000 to 100,000. I want you to know, you have no downside. If no tenant responds to you and you have the property under contract, you don't have to buy it. You walk away with no obligation, you get the refund of the 5,000 you put in escrow, or 2,000, 1,000, whatever you put in escrow, and the title company will refund it to you automatically. That is the law. You don't even have to negotiate that part that's standard in the commercial real estate contracts with you guys. When I pay you, I want to be clear, I pay you through, as a hedge fund manager, I pay you through what's called the closing statement, which is called the HUD one. You get paid. I then finish the deal with the tenant, and I am very happy with these type of deals. The end goal for me is to get properties under contract for as long as possible. You add value by lining up a tenant that will bring reliable income for a period of time. You assign to my fund. There is no risk to you, no obligation on your part. I buy them, and I use any of the strategies to flip and grow the money for the fund. You can buy them. You can use any of the strategies to grow your own money, and you can create your own fund. But start with me because the first deal you're going to get an assignment fee of, say, 60 k Pay off your debt, clear up your mind, put a couple bucks in the bank. Second deal, you got some money, you got knowledge, you go in, we can partner up, you can do it on your own, you can create your own fund, and you find people lining up to give you money because you put the pieces together. Let me tell you guys, I've tried to work this no money down strategy with brokers. Brokers want to list properties that in their own world, God bless them, many brokers see the opportunity and they say, you know what, Sharif, I want to join venture with you. I want to become a partner in this. And they join me, they call, they get in, I do the training with them, and they go line up these deals and it changes their life. If you're an investor, if you're a novice, if you're experienced, if you're dealing with apartment buildings and you're tired of that, if you're out there trying to really make a change without changing completely your life, do something with no risk, with a hedge fund manager ready to rock and roll and make it happen with you. I have a history of doing this stuff. You can go on YouTube, put Sharif Medawar, and you will see over a thousand video success stories. There is no training company in the country that has that many people on video saying, this is happening. I'm making money with Sharif Medawar. I'm making money with this fund. I made money with these assignments. I'm enjoying the training. It's changing my life. Call now to reserve your spot. 407-608-5448. Again, 407-608-5448. Your enrollment would drop the price to $24.95. That's all inclusive. I don't train more than eight people at a time. Usually I try to cut them at four to five people. This way it's focused. It's one-on-one. -on -one. There is a huge self-interest in this why I'm doing it, because you will assign to me. You're in full control, guys. If you put the property under contract, decide to assign to someone else, Fine, more power to you. I pretty much guarantee you nobody moves as fast. Nobody has as many millions sitting. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you with the system turnkey online. I'll give you access to the national tenant list over 4,000 tenants. This cost me a lot of money, a lot of time to update it. You know what? On that list, you see the names of the tenants, who to contact. You will see who the neighboring tenants they'd like to be next to, the size of space they like. They sign the deals triple net, meaning they pay the lease net of tax, insurance, and maintenance. You will see those that give what's called corporate guarantee, means the lease is guaranteed for 10 to 15 years. I'm going to give you a business model with all the documents as a package. I've done this over and over and over. I've done it with the biggest national tenants, some of the biggest tenants in the world, from Burberry to Tommy Figure to Guest to Coach. Many of you know about me. Know what I've done? I've taken streets. I own them, and I continue to own them. They're in Puerto Rico, in California. I've done these all over the place. The principles are the same, even if you're dealing internationally. For my fund, I'm very interested in your own backyard. I cannot be in Dallas. I cannot be in North Orlando. I cannot be in South, South Houston. But I'm interested in you having my proof of letter of over $3 million sitting for you to make offers and get the deal under contract. Full day training video will show you everything with an expert tenant consultant. His name is Paul Fulton. That is a full day training. I negotiate with him. He plays hardball, so you can see how it goes with the tenants when we talk. You will see exactly what can come up, so no surprises. I give you weekly support calls. Every Monday night, you send me questions during the week. I answer them so everybody can benefit. I give you 
case studies, we discuss who has what deals and what's happening, so everybody learns. And once you know the strategy, it's the least headache. By the way, guys, if you buy one property for yourself and you keep it for yourself, all you need is one deal. Because these tenants sign 10 to 15 to 20 years and there's positive cash flow. All you do is just pay it off. Pay it off through the years and you will have that powerful property that keeps pumping cash flow that's better than anything you can imagine. The rental income is earmarked for inflation, meaning it increases 3% per year. The debt decreases. You're thinking inflation, guess what? The value of the dollar decreases. Well, the debt you borrowed at the dollar is decreasing over time. Guys, you can assign make money. You can own them make money. You can find partners a lot easier because all based on money. I'm going to make it very powerful for you. I'm going to spend one and a half days with you at my home in Old San Juan. I have a home there. I have properties there. I will tour you. I will show you. Or if you want to come to Cancun, I also have the opportunity to meet with you in Cancun. I own part of a hotel there. You will come. You will meet with me. I live right in front of the beach. I want you to understand it's not just about money. It's about lifestyle. The reason I focus on single tenant properties, they're a lot easier, a lot more fun. You do all the work before you own a property, before you assign the property. You have no obligation, no downside, and you have all the upside, all the benefits. Everything is going to be given to you today when you call right now and enroll. I'm going to give you access online training. You can start watching the videos, the packages, see all the documents, see how simple it is. You can duplicate it. You can start making offers right now. I'll give you the one-on-one -on -one time, not only for support, but for an actual training. Guys, I'm not assigning this to anybody. I'm the one doing the training. I am the hedge fund manager. I'm the one approving. I'm the one stepping in when you talk to the tenants. And I can only do this with a few people. So understand, I have no intention to scale this with a lot of people. I want to scale it with depth of knowledge. The actual Santander Bank, which is a Spanish bank that actually works in Los Angeles, Florida, New York, Puerto Rico, my company, Original Resources, that owns the fund, has pays the CD for $3.3 million. It owns the Mixit fund, the hedge fund right here. It is set by the banker. And they can, anybody making an offer to, they can actually call me directly. We'll give you also the bank phone number. I raised it here because some people may call the bank directly. I only want those that are partners, that are working with us, to start making this happen. Let me tell you, with 4,000 national tenants knowing exactly what to tell them, Having the exact paperwork and my support, you can help us but succeed. Those that enroll now, call 407-608-5448. And let me tell you something. I have two training dates set up for you. August 28, 29, you're going to fly to San Juan. You're going to stay there a couple nights. Immerse yourself with me. A full day and a half, you're going to leave like an expert. I've had people with 30 years experience in commercial real estate, and they came out telling me they've never seen it done this way. No risk, huge upside, total transformation, not just information. September 2nd and 3rd, that's a Tuesday and Wednesday, in Cancun. If you prefer to fly to Cancun, more power to you. Wonderful. Welcome. We'll spend the time together. A day and a half later, you will know how to put these deals together, how to make it happen. I have all my archive calls. For those that want to review the, the past calls, the question and answers, case studies, etc., you would become an expert in this. My criteria for the investments are very clear. Single tenant property, national tenants in them, 10 to 15 years, corporate guarantees and triple net, and you will have my attention and you will have my money. So let me recap. 2,495. I don't do mass trainings. I don't do live three days anymore. I take groups of people hand-holding, get to know them, and make it happen. I'll give you the commercial real estate turnkey system online, the national tenant list of 4,000 tenants, the business model with all the documents, stuff that has taken me years to put together. You'll have my proof of fund letter for $3.3 million for your own deeds. you have the full day training video with the expert tenant consultant. By the way, he charges 14000 a month plus profits with the tenants to consult for them. You're going to hear how he's taking companies from 14 carts and malls to 134 locations worldwide. That is the person that's going to give us the tenant point of view, so you're not just listening to my point of view as an owner, landlord, hedge fund manager. You're going to get the other person's point of view, the tenants. 
weekly support calls so you're not out there in the cold wondering what happens. I'm accessible. I will even give you the one and a half day training because before you go use my hedge fund letter with 3.3 with million of cash sitting for you to be able to acquire properties at as high as $10 million with a 33% down payment or all cash, you know, up to $5 million, all cash we can close quickly. I want to get to know you. I want you to know me. I want you to speak on my behalf, make the deeds on my behalf and on your behalf. I'm going to give you a couple bonuses, guys. Those calling now, please let me be very clear. If you enroll now and become a partner now in the joint venture program, I will ship you. I will ship to you the full package of commercial real estate roundtable DVDs. This is the entire 12 different types of properties, the entire set. Each one is the live training. You're going to see the students talking about the experience exact website they go to to find properties, analyze properties, where to have the checklist, how to create values, how to negotiate the deeds, everything you ever imagined by, by type of property, 12 different types of properties. You know, that training people paid 2995 It's excerpts of several trainings. We edited, made it the best commercial real estate training in the world. I'm not exaggerating. I've had companies trying to buy it from me companies trying to rebrand it, white label it, I said, no, I don't need the money. I need these. I need people to go out there, get me these. I'm going to throw it in for you for free. It's at least valued at a thousand bucks for you right now. Also, I'm going to throw in three coaching sessions. You can choose any of my actual experts in commercial real estate. I mean, you want to do the single tenant retail? You got me already. You got me at hello. <laughs> If you want to and prefer to do apartment buildings, Jerry, right here, expert, owns a lot of apartment buildings. He's an expert in rehab. He's an expert in mobile homes. I mean, he's done incredible deals. I've known Jerry for over 10 years. Jerry is one of the very few people that shared the platform with me when people want to talk about apartment buildings. You will have three coaching sessions with him. Guys, you can get these people to even talk to you or share their knowledge. Um, they have been doing coaching for our students for our experts and they take them to another level. You want storage facility? Annie, right here. She developed storage facility. She is an expert in the business. You want to be with Annie? You prefer to do storage facilities? We're going to throw that in. I am giving you this so you have access. You want to do gas stations? You want to do parking garages? I have experts. Architects with over 30 years experience have been my students and they say, Sharif, love the way they teach. Here's what I do. I want to follow your formula, the fax system on gas station. I'll help students in senior living facilities, etc. Any type of commercial property, we have an expert that can help you. I'm going to throw in three coaching sessions for free. What does that mean? Those that are becoming partners tonight, here's what you're getting, guys. Let me be very clear with you what you're getting. Joint Venture Partner Program 2495, the online commercial training course, the national tenant list, all the, the business documents. I prove a fun letter, the full day of training on video, the weekly support call every week, one and a half days of, of training with me live in San Juan or Cancun. I'm going to throw in the actual commercial real estate roundtable DVD series, 995 value, the three coaching sessions with any of the experts that I have, 750, total value, 4240. I don't know what the value is to spend a day and a half with me. I can tell you for sure, over 4240, that alone. I wish somebody spent the time with me one-on-one. -on -one. The billionaire, you know how he spent time with me? Go do this deal. I want this property at X dollars. I had to go figure it out on my own. And that's when I realized that knowledge and passing on knowledge to others is the key to life. You think about it for a minute. Without knowledge, you have no understanding. And without understanding, you have no compassion. You have no passion. You have no patience. You have got nothing. So those that want to do this, 2495, 2495, call right now, 407-608-5448. And let me tell you, I'm lit limiting the spaces available for this strategy. Please understand, I will not keep doing the training forever. We've done it for a while. We have a good database of people spread around the country doing these and sending these for us. I've done the training. You see the photo right here with the people that came to my house in Old San Juan. This is a historic building. Look at this. These beautiful people that are out in Dallas doing deals. Right here, I'm touring people over in Olsen, one area, showing them the historic buildings, showing them how I have done it. I've walked the talk. 
This is not some fantasy out there. Made millions with it. I have taken people in Cancun, done the training. Here we are. We just ate. We eat right in front of the beach. It's in front of my hotel there. And we just stood right in front of the sand. This is white sand. This is not touched up photo. This is the real beach behind us. This is a real boat. You can quote me on this. This is in Cancun. We stood there, took the photo. Both here, Wei and Daniel, are from the northeast. Daniel, by the way, made offers on properties worth millions of dollars and put a thousand as earnest money deposit. Why? He said, I represent the funds. It is a proof of funds and not properties for 60 days. You will see how real this is. You will see. So call me, call my staff, call us. Let's make it happen. I got consultants. I got people that work with you. You will see the experience. You will see how it transform you from not knowing what to do next to having an exact checklist, an exact recipe to follow. If I have the recipe, I could appear like a great chef. I'm going to give you the recipe to become a great investor. A lethal investor business person, you will know the strategies, you will make it happen, and you will have a hedge fund manager standing with you. 407-608-5448. Invest in commercial, real estate, single tenant retail with me, the hedge fund manager. Get access online. If you prefer to email us, info at cmrei.com. Info at c MREI.com for Sharif Medawar Real Estate Investing. Guys, it's not just about the training, it's about investing. You're going to get into it, you're going to make it happen, you're going to have zero risk, and we're going to make money together. God bless, and I want to thank you for your time and energy. I want to thank you for your enthusiasm about making money and changing your future. This is as real as it gets, but it's not going to last forever. Thank you all. Till next time, and I see you in person. Good luck.